Base 8 and Base 16 number systems. There are a few aspects of binary that are important to focus on because they create the pattern for all number systems. Binary is also called base 2. That is not only because it contains only two characters, 0 and 1, but also because each digit is representing 2 to the x power, as shown below. Now let's look at the octal system. Following the pattern, since octal means 8 in Latin, the bases of this system will be 8. This system is also referred to as the base 8 number system. This system has exactly 8 characters, and we recognize them as all of the numbers less than 8, including 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So what is the value of this number in octal, in decimal? So we have 8 to the 4th power, 8 to the 3rd, 8 to the 2nd, 8 to the 1st, and 8 to the 0. Those are the places. And so we place this 1 in the 5th column here, 0 in the 4th column, this 3 goes in the 3rd column from the right, 2 goes in the 2nd, and the 6 goes in the farthest right column. Each character of the system aligns with 8 to, the sum, to some power. So the first column will be 8 to the 0, second column is 8 to the first, etc. To find the decimal numeric value, you multiply each digit here with its respective 8 to the x power, and then you add them all together. So 6 times 8 to the 0, and 8 to the 0 is just 1, 8 to the first power is 8, 8 squared is 64, we have 128 and 256, so 1 times 256 plus 0 times 128, which is just 0, plus 3 times 64, plus 2 times 8, plus 6 times 1, and you add those all together. The pattern continues into the hexadecimal number system. This system has 16 characters, and while it follows our pattern, there is a unique piece. With 16 characters, that means all our bases of 16, and yes, a nickname for the system is base 16. Finding the decimal numeric value of this number in hexadecimal works the same as with octal. So 3 times 16 to the 0 power plus 2 times 16 to the first power, etc. You keep doing that, you add them all together, and you'll get the decimal equivalent. Let's discuss the unique piece of the base 16 system. It has 16 characters, but there are only 10 numeric characters, 0 through 9. So what do we use for the other 6 characters? This is where the English alphabet steps in. The characters of the hexadecimal system begin with the numbers 0 through 9, but then the system continues with A, B, C, D, E, F. Each letter represents what would be the next numeric value, i.e. A is for 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, F is 15. And these are the decimal versions, of course. The system stops just before 16, as with the other systems whose values stop just before their bases, like octal stops at 7, binary stops at 1. So what would be the value in decimal of 1b2f in hexadecimal? First, we set up the characters so that they line up with their respective base and power. So it was 1b2f, so f goes in the rightmost column, 16 to the 0 power, 2 is in the second column from right, and so on. So referencing back to earlier, b stands for 11 in decimal, F stands for 15, so the value can be found by multiplying each of these values times those values and adding them together. So 1 times 16 to the third power plus 11, because b is 11, 11 times 16 squared plus 2 times 16 plus f, which is 15, so 15 times 1. We can convert between binary and octal indirectly by first converting from one of those to decimal and then from decimal to the other base. So for instance, from octal to decimal to binary or 
from binary to decimal to octal. But there's a faster way, because in computer science, there's rarely a reason to use decimal. It won't work for converting all number systems to binary, but it works for octal, and more importantly, it works for hexadecimal, which will be discussed after octal. Every octal digit converts to a 3-bit binary number. Remember bits? Let's look at all the 3-bit binary numbers and how they line up with all the one-digit octal numbers. Those are shown in this table. There's a one-to-one -one match between each 3-bit binary number and each one-digit octal number. Note, a single-digit octal is not one bit in size. Bits are binary digits, so a single-digit octal number is three bits in size. So here, binary 000 would be equivalent to octal 0. Octal 1 is 001 in binary. Octal 2 is 010 in binary, and so on. So how about if there's a two-digit octal number that needs to be converted to binary? It turns out that we can match each two-digit octal number with a six-bit binary number. Let's convert the number 35 in octal into binary. We convert each octal digit into a three-bit binary number and put the new three-bit binary numbers in the same sequence as the digits in the octal number. So for example, we have three, five. So three goes there, five goes there. The octal number three is zero, one, one in binary. So we replace three with zero, one, one in binary. Five is one, zero, one in binary. And so here we have our two three-digit binary numbers, and then we just put them back together. So therefore, 35 in octal is 011101 in binary. This works the same way for any number of digits in an octal number. Let's convert 235 in octal into binary. 2 is 010, so we put 010. 3 is 011. So we put 011 next, and finally 5 is 101, so we add 101, and that is our answer. This is fast and easy to do once you understand how. If you're not given a table, it's quick to create one by just remembering to multiply the first binary digit by 4, the second digit by 2, and the third by 1. It's just as easy to convert from binary to octal. If you're given a 3-bit binary number, convert it directly from the table. If the binary number can be divided into sets of 3-digit numbers, just do that and convert each of those separately. If the binary number has a number of digits that does not allow the number to be divided evenly into sets of 3, just add leading zeros until it does. So you add zeros to the left side of the number. Let's look at it on the next page. Let's convert this number in binary to octal. Well, first, since this is seven digits, we want there to be nine. We want something divisible by three. So we're gonna add two zeros to the left side. Then we're gonna group the number into threes. So here we have three, and that goes here. Then we have one zero zero, then we have one zero zero again. Then we convert each of those into octal. So zero zero one is 1 in octal, so we put 1. 1, zero, zero is 4 in octal, so that becomes 4, and we have that again. So therefore, we're done. This number in binary is equal to 144 four in octal. Converting between binary and hexadecimal directly is very important in computer science. This can be done similarly to how octal and binary convert. In that case, there was a one-to-one -one correspondence between three-bit binary numbers and single-digit octal numbers. For hexadecimal, there's a four-bit binary number correspondence to each hexadecimal digit. This is the table we used to see that every octal digit matches with a three-bit binary number. In order to extend this to the remaining hexadecimal digits, 8 through F, a fourth bit must be added since there are no more three-bit combinations beyond 111. 
For the first seven digits that can be written as 3-bit binary numbers, a leading zero is added to make them become 4-bit binary numbers. The chart to the left shows the 4-bit binary numbers and hexadecimal digit equivalents, ranging from 0 to 15 in decimal. Converting any single digit hexadecimal number to a 4-bit binary number can be done using this table. If you don't have access to a table, use the place value rules to create a table, or solve one number at a time. In the same way we did for octal, we can convert two digit hexadecimal numbers to binary by converting each digit and then putting them side by side in the same order. So let's convert 54 in hexadecimal to binary, 5, 4. We just split it up, 5 and 4. We look at our table. 5 in hexadecimal is 0, 1, 0, 1 in binary, so we replace it. We do the same thing for the 4, and then we just put the numbers back together. There's our answer. Did you notice something in the last example? A two-digit hexadecimal number is 8 bits in size. What is that equivalent to? Correct, a byte. A byte is 8 bits in size. This is why hexadecimal is important to computer science. Every byte is equal to a two-digit hexadecimal number. This is the next level of abstraction. The long machine code comprised of bits can be replaced by the much shorter hexadecimal that reads bytes. In the same way we did for octal, we can convert 4-bit binary numbers directly into single-digit hexadecimal numbers. And we can convert 8-bit binary numbers into two-digit hexadecimal numbers by converting each digit and then putting them side by side in the same order. If we have a binary number with 5, 6, or 7 digits, we just add leading zeros to make it an 8-bit number as we did with octal conversions. Let's convert this number to hexadecimal. First, we break it up into four-digit numbers. So 0011 will go this way, 1100 will go that way. Then we use our table to convert this binary number into its hexadecimal equivalent. So 1100 is C. So it becomes C, 0011 becomes 3 in hexadecimal, put them back together, and the answer is C3.